While the Detroit Red Wings are missing out on a playoff run, future Red Wings are taking their best shot at a championship. The Toledo Walleye, the ECHL affiliate of the Red Wings, hope to hoist a cup. Photojournalist Chris McKnight takes us behind the scenes with the team and their fans. We do see a lot of influx from Michigan. Being right on the Ohio-Michigan line, a lot of players with Michigan backgrounds uh, either played in, in the state of Michigan or maybe from Michigan. It's, it's convenient, it's easy, it's affordable. A lot of Michiganders on our team, um, so I mean they they travel travel probably hour, hour and a half, two hours away just to come to games all the time. It's only a few hours away. The Red Wings are affiliated with uh, Toledo, so yeah. I watch uh, the boys from that played in Grand Rapids this year. There's a bunch of them got sent down. Uh, from Grand Rapids to help out and play in the playoffs. It's really kind of almost sometimes a circus-like atmosphere with a hockey game going on in the background. The players who are local, you know, it, it's great for them to be able to play in front of their family, in front of their friends, in front of uh, old teammates maybe now when they're growing up. And I just think, you know, that elevates their game when there's something to play for. See a lot of young guys this year. We've had Sebastian Kosa, the Red Wings' number one draft pick in goal, played pretty much the bulk of the season here, and is will be on the playoff roster as well. <laughs> Fan experience, well, cowbells is one. So if you have cowbells and you want to bring them to a game, you're welcome to bring them. Great experience in that regard. And it's a fan support to come out and you're a young player here to be able to play in front of seven, 8,000 people on a given night. It's infectious. You know, it goes down the bench. They hear the crowd. The guys get into it. And it's certainly, uh, certainly a pleasure to play in front of.